from Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Wednesday, October 10th, remembering one of Delaware's fallen heroes. One potential candidate for Congress is out, another may be back in. And saying thank you to young blood donors. Here are the details. It's being called a significant problem for a small state. Prescription drug fraud. In fact, it rivals the sale of illegal drugs on the streets. Law enforcement and medical professionals met at Christie in a hospital to discuss the growing problem. The number of arrests for prescription drug fraud has increased 500 percent over the last five years, in part because it's surprisingly easy to forge a prescription. A middle school student uh, can probably have sufficient skills to be able to duplicate the average electronic prescription. It's a little bit more difficult with a written prescription, but uh, it, is, it is quite an issue. And we talked about a number of different solutions. Uh, many of them involve the exchange of information, uh, the alertness that individuals, both doctors and pharmacists, have to have to recognize patterns of conduct that give rise to investigations. Uh, the use of a more secure prescription form that can, is not easily tampered or duplicated. I think there is a big void in uh, sharing information between law enforcement and clinicians, prescribers, and pharmacists. I think a system that would be easy for uh, physicians and pharmacists, other prescribers, to uh, report incidents and easily access the data from it and uh, a way that alerts could be sent out, I think would... Uh, help to at least aware, uh, increase awareness to diversion issues and hopefully uh, close the gap with people not being informed. The problem has grown in part because some people need the pills to satisfy an addiction. Others just want to profit. Chris Carl, 1150 AM, WDEL. State police say a patient at the Delaware Psychiatric Center is recovering from a head injury after being attacked by another patient in a bathroom following an argument. It happened Monday night in a facility which houses the criminally insane. Police were immediately notified the victim has been admitted at Christiana Hospital. One of the 15 Delaware soldiers killed in the war on terror is being remembered in a new book. WDEL's Carl Konevsky reports. The book is called Faces of Freedom and highlights one soldier from each of the 50 states who made the ultimate sacrifice. Corporal Stephen McGowan, best known for his efforts to bring happiness and stability to the children of Iraq, is Delaware's representative. And his mother Bobby says she's honored since his joining the military had nothing to do with politics now surrounding the war. I don't see Stephen's loss as political. I know how much he loved this country and valued the freedoms that we have. And I know when he said in his little video he made for children that he wanted to help create a future for the Iraqi children, that that's where his heart was. Bobby says though she misses her son every day, she draws strength from Stephen's memory. It's a very hard sacrifice, but my son chose it. And we talked very seriously before he went to war, and he loved this country. And when 9-11 happened, he chose two things, to serve as a soldier and to serve to help soldiers by being a medic. McGowan presented Congressman Mike Castle with a copy of the book, proceeds of which go to help wounded soldiers when they arrive home. I'm Carl Konefsky, 11.50 a.m., WDEF. Coming up, a long-term drought may be in our forecast. WDEL News continues in a moment. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. State police have identified the woman whose body was pulled from the Lipsick River Monday and they're calling her death suspicious. Autopsy results are still pending, but police say they want to talk to anyone who may have been in contact with Christine Pate of Smyrna between Sunday evening and 3 o'clock Monday afternoon. A Democrat who was expected to run for Congressman Castle's House seat has changed his mind. Reverend Christopher Bullock telling WDEL News his decision came down to priorities. His ministry takes precedence, and he says there will be chances for him to run in the future. 
The news may have changed the mind of Dennis Spivak, who ran for the seat in 2006 and was going to run in 08, but then decided not to. Spivak now tells WDEL News that on a scale of 1 to 10, his chances of running are about 7.5. Elsewhere on the campaign trail, Lieutenant Governor Carney gave a preview of his economic development platform as he seeks the governor's office. WDEL's Carl Konevsky has that story. Carney says a strong economy for the state is one based on innovation, science and technology, but the more things change, the more they stay the same, noting a giant step forward would be nothing Delaware hasn't taken before. Ever since DuPont began making gunpowder on the banks of the Brandywine 200 years ago, Delaware has been one of the most inventive and entrepreneurial places in the world, nurturing new technology-based businesses like industrial chemicals, fibers, Polymers. Carney says expanding the Delaware Biotechnology Institute is a must, continuing with the right priorities, partnerships, and strategies to bring more new companies to Delaware. He says he'll call on the Delaware Economic Development Office to find creative ways to attract businesses to the state, since Delaware can't offer the same financial incentives its neighbors can. We've got to compete by having an attractive uh, business climate with low taxes, a regulatory environment that's favorable to, to industry, uh, so the business leaders that are looking at Delaware and looking at locating here are going to say this is a good place to bring my business. Reporting from Newark, I'm Carl Konefsky, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. A drought specialist says the long-term forecast for our region doesn't look good. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Douglas LeCompte says information he and other experts have seen for the next several months shows we won't be getting enough precipitation to stave off a drought. The comp tells WDEL News that a few good nor'easters may be what we need to improve our situation. The Blood Bank of Delmarva is thanking students who donated blood during the school blood drive program. An awards luncheon was held Tuesday afternoon at the Cranston Heights Fire Hall outside Wilmington. More than 6,300 donations were made at 107 schools on Delmarva last school year, up 16% from the previous year. The school blood drive program accounts for 8% of Delmarva's blood supply. Blood bank officials say the school program is important because very few blood bank members are under the age of 35. They're hoping students who participate in the program become lifelong blood donors. The Phillies, in a sense, make their first free agent signing. WDEL Sports and your Delaware AccuWeather forecast coming up. What's Two first place awards for Melanie Armstrong from the RTNDA plus best website and our third Murrow Award for excellence in a row. WDEL swept the Delaware Press Association Awards for best newscast on the spot report, special programming, and first for best interview. But what really gets us jazzed? Second and third for TV news. WDEL, where news talk is just the beginning. In WDEL Sports, Charlie Manuel will be back as Phillies manager for two more years and possibly a third. And the Phillies will sign an extension with Manuel through 2009 with a club option for 2010. Manuel led the team to its first postseason appearance in 14 years, and he's never had a losing season as manager, two with Cleveland and three with the Phillies. Your WDEL Delaware AccuWeather with a forecast. Clouds and fog to start today, then some sunshine later on, high 79. Partly cloudy tonight, low 57. Tomorrow, variably cloudy, a passing shower, and a high up to 69. Get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 11.50 a.m. WDEL or anytime right here at WDEL.com. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.